I'm not sure I can add anything to what's already been said, but um, ever since I got elected in May 2014, um, Jonathan and I were actively involved in the ward in Streatham to save people being, evic uh, being thrown out of their sheltered housing scheme called the Glebe. The average age on the Glebe was about 70 years old, and it was prime real estate, it was ripe for development, lovely nice little green part of Streatham. And uh, these people went to all of the other political parties, they all turned their back on them, and it was the community police officer that said, Jonathan and Scott, why, why don't you come round and meet with these people? And we went to a meeting and um, it, was, it was clear that they were trying to drive these pensioners that were living uh, independently and inter interdependently. So, you know, one of them could get down to the shops for the other or, or they, were, they were living um, independent lives. And we got involved in this campaign because no one else... Everyone else had turned their back on them. And we fought and we won. Everywhere along the high street said, no, these people aren't going anywhere. They've been here for years. They spend their money here. Um, we love them in the community. One of the traders, one of the local shops wouldn't let anyone go until they had signed the petition. So we got over 2,000 signatures within a space of three weeks. And those people were saved. And it put Lambeth Council off trying to cleanse um, other, uh, the, the other uh, sheltered schemes in the area. And then we got involved in other, the Cressingham Gardens campaign got in touch to say, can you help us with our campaign? They want to, and, and what's going on here, as, as people have already said, is a land grab, okay? In, in, in difficult financial times, people all over the world are looking for a safe haven to put their money, and we, and people like Betty, and people uh, on our estates are paying the blemin price, and they shouldn't be paying the price, because these things aren't costed properly, they're not looked at properly, and they give absolutely no respect to communities, to individuals, to, to people that live uh, independently and interdependent lives. Betty, all she's asking for is to live uh, a life off of benefits. She doesn't want to be become dependent on, on benefits. She wants to work. She's proved that so many times in, 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 in business ventures and the jobs that she's taken on. A single mother should be allowed to live on an estate, do the work that she wants and be able to afford it. You can't con people. You can't con people into saying, well, look, if you give up your house, if you give up your rights. I was there on the day that they were going, uh, Guinness were sending around this piece of paper saying um, that, you know, you can, uh, if you sign this contract, you will be given a uh, uh, assured tenancy. No. There was a little bit of small writing at the bottom, wasn't there, Betty? And I, I pointed it out to, to, to everyone on the estate. I said, it says here, if we can. This tiny little bit in the contract, at the bottom, there was a little bit of slippage, you know, where they could just weed all their way in to say, you signed this document, oh, you signed it. We said, only if we could, if we could find somewhere for you to live in London. It was a... I've got to be careful of what I say, but... Bastards! You know, no, it was, it was at least disingenuous, but it was, it was a means to get one little, one little, one little way through so that they could say, right, okay, we've got everyone off the estate that is on assured short-haul tenancies. And then suddenly people were, were taking, uh, they were being divided and ruled as a community and people were given uh, places to go elsewhere. A lot of people moved out of London altogether, away from their communities. Now I think people should be allowed to stay in their communities. My mother was a single mother bringing up two kids on an estate up in Edinburgh. I know how hard she worked and what, what, what sort of sacrifices people like Betty are making. These are people who should be role models, yeah. not vilified yes. by, by organizations. As Simon said, they're, they're not charities. This is not being run like a charity. I'm sure they're breaking some sort of covenant when it was originally set up. But who's, who's grilling them on this? You know, we've seen it with short life people um, who, uh, short life, uh, you know, I've gone in and, and stopped people <laughs> evicting people in the short life homes. And gone and stood in solidarity with people that have built up these communities, that have made these communities in Clapham where no one wanted to live 20 odd years ago. These people made these homes that are now worth a million. What are you going to do? Just try to kind of like take the juice from them and then chuck the peel away when you, when you, you know, when someone comes along and offers you a big handout? That's no. Exactly what they did. It is exactly what they did, and it's exactly what they're still trying to do. And I, I, I think we have to just say enough is enough. We're not putting up with this anymore. You know, go and find somewhere else to, to uh, you know, exploit people. Well, actually, don't find somewhere else. But we've got to call a stop to this. 
it's uh, you know enough is enough and I, I I'm here in solidarity with Betty today because um, you know there's so much pain being inflicted on people on council estates we're not even allowed to call them council estates anymore are we it's like it's become this dirty word well it is it's a council home it's, it's paid for by the council for people to have affordable homes to live in to bring up their families in to contribute to the economy and all that kind of stuff so um, I'm here today to say enough is enough and um, I'm glad everyone's turned up to show their, their support for someone who's really, really trying to get on her feet and stay on her feet. And I think she's doing a blimmin' brilliant job. And I say to these people in here that are using intimidation tactics, I'm sorry, but she's got far more support than you have. <laughs>